All right, so uh, welcome back to part two. It's dead pedal day. I'm gonna be installing this uh, in 79. Um, dead pedals goes to the left underneath the steering column. It's just somewhere for your left foot to rest. Uh, mine flies around, doesn't really feel too comfortable when I'm driving, so I wanted to get this guy in. Uh, it doesn't seem to be too much to it. There's four mounting holes. I need to drill through the wheel arch um, and then it gets bolted through the wheel arch um, into, the, into that part of the car and holds it all securely. So uh, we're just going to crack on and get it done. Alright, so the, uh, the first thing we need to do is figure out exactly where this is going to go to get the placement correct. Um, so I've been playing around a little bit. I've kind of got a good idea of where I want it to go for my foot. Um, but I also want to make sure that there's enough space between uh, the base of the the, uh, the dead pedal and the floor of the car because I've got a track mat that's in there and it tucks right underneath this pedal. So I want to make sure that I've got sort of like half a centimetre so that if I want to take the track mat out at a future date I don't need to unbolt the dead pedal um, from the car, which would be a real pain in the ass um, to get the track mat out. So I just want to leave a tiny little bit of space. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the pedal in and I'm going to mark it through the holes against the carpet with a china graph and um, get the placement there so that then I'm ready for the drilling. Okay, so that's the holes that are now marked for the uh, mounting hole, the mounting bolts for the dead pedal. Um, now, there are four places that Redline instruct you to mount this dead pedal. The two at the front are totally fine. The ones on the side, you've got to kind of get around the pedals um, to drill these holes. Now, I was looking at it, and I'm going to take a bit of a gamble here. I'm actually only going to mount it using these first two bolts. Um, I think that when they're secure, the downward force is going to be enough that I don't really think you're constantly going to be pushing the pedal against the side of the wheel arch anyway. So I am going to try just mounting with these two and see how secure that is, and hopefully that should do it. Um, so the next thing we need to do is we need to drill the holes. We're going through the wheel arch. Um, we need a 316 drill bit um, to do that job. Um, but the first and most important part of this is to make sure that the wheels are cranked around to the passenger side because you need to last thing that we want is this drill bit going through the front tire all right before we do any drilling i want to check inside the wheel arch just to make sure that there's nothing that could obstruct the drill bit when it comes through i don't want to be piercing any electrics no lines nothing like that so we'll take a look inside make sure that's all clear and then we'll start drilling okay now um my car has carpet in it so i've got to drill through the carpet through the wheel arch um so i'm hoping that this goes as smoothly as possible. Okay, it seems to go pretty smoothly, so uh, the next step is to see if the bolts line up with the mounting holes. Okay, so that's the dead pedal in place. I'm super happy that's that job done in full now. Um, I was really happy with how it all went together. I find, find the Renline products really easy to use. Um, they're awesome, they look fantastic in the car. Um, the dead pedal, I didn't show you sort of the full, you'd be watching me for 20 minutes screwing a bolt. Um, it's definitely a two person job. You need somebody on the other side of the wheel arch um, that can tighten the nut as it goes in, somebody else to hold the screw on the inside. It's a little tricky that I found that because I had carpeting on the inside of the car, that um, the bolt wasn't quite long enough. So I had to cut, a, I, I cut a, a hole in the carpet and a, which allowed the dead pedal to sort of sit through that hole and then I bolted it in that way um, and it looks it looks great now that it's all put together and done um, but you know like everything was mildly frustrating but the end result's awesome so, so I'm super happy um, so yeah uh, the only the only thing that I would say about the Renline products is there's logos everywhere man they stamp that Renline on every single item that they make so my car kind of now looks like the inside of a Nike sneaker it's just logos sort of everywhere, which I'm not thrilled about. Um, it would be nice if there was sort of an option to, if you were buying the full the full kit to put into the car, if it would be great if there was an option to sort of only have a logo on sort of like a select piece, like one floorboard or one track mat, or at least the logos were just all the same. They sort of have different ones on the track mats that they do on the, on the floorboards themselves. So I might look into maybe sharpening them out or just like a 
fine brush with some black enamel paint and just paint over them. Um, see if I can solve that issue. But other than that, I love them. Um, I'm going to take the car out for a run now, see how it feels. Um, see, it's going to be nice to see how that dead pedal feels as well. Um, and I'll see you next time for the, uh, for the next project.